guys, welcome back. Today's video is on Encampment PG. For those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you will know that every encampment has so many variables and so every encampment is different. There's no exception when it comes to PT. From my basic to my encampment where I staffed, my basic I did a whole lot more PT and running. Whereas at my staff, we only ran twice. A lot has to do with weather, the season, the amount of cadets, the sickness, things like that. For my basic, we did about a mile run every day, which was actually a little bit less than a mile, it was three laps. So three, well we started with a three laps, we started with two laps, then went to three laps, then went to four laps, four laps, four laps, four laps, and then it went down to three laps. And so we ran a lot, and then we run during the day from activity to activity, depending on what activity it was. And then we also did PT, which included like things like push-ups, squats, sit-ups, um, crunches, the butterfly, stretches, calisthenics, yoga. They, it's your first object who comes up with it. So it depends on what their background is, but it can vary from anywhere from it's just your flight sergeant and flight commander in the room telling you what to do. And you can do planks, um, sit-ups, push-ups, uh, just a whole plethora of things. And you can have PT up to three times a day after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you can also have games. So to prepare, prepare yourself before encampment, I suggest one, you do a lot of stretching because you do a lot of walking. So just general stretching. Like be intentional the week before on what you're doing. Stretch, uh, do some exercises. Like know what you can do because whatever you do, you're gonna do a little bit more on encampment. And encampment is not super hard. I mean, you can just improve how you do an encampment by how much you do beforehand. So I suggest that you hydrate, be drinking plenty of water, cut back on your soda, things like that before encampment. And then before that also, you should be doing stretches, sit-ups, push-ups, anything that you might do on a normal PT night or PT test. And PT can last anywhere from 30 minutes a day to two hours a day. And they can also include games, running, things like that. So know that PT, I encampment is serious. You are doing a fair amount of it. it. They don't create it to kill you. They create it because it's part of CAP. So guys, don't be scared of PT. Don't go to encampment because of PT because it can be super easy. It can be super hard. I talk to people where all they do is stretches. I talk to people where all they do is do push-ups and people put their feet on their back trying to hold them down during planks. So it really depends on your experience with it. So it can be horrible or it can be great. And so I just suggest you go to encampment no matter what. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll leave links below to other videos on encampment if you're interested. Also, if you have any questions about encampment, leave it also in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.